What's going on, guys? I'm Jace. I'm Josh. <clears throat> Apparently, you're the chip monster. Yeah. I'm going to go cram some cookies in my face. Right. <laughs> so, we're going to watch Yu Gi Oh! Bridge, episode 11. In America! He's like, what is it? In America! This is a kid's show. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to complete the lyrics, just so you know. In America. I thought you probably would. America! Fuck <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you love you love using that with uh, Captain America, don't you? Mm-hmm. For your crack mids. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, we had banded Keith on the front of this, so we're gonna lose Joey because he's gonna be underground. Is this uh, so? This is when he duels bones. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. All right. That sword and shield combo, though. Oh, at the end, yeah. He keeps he keeps attacking them. They this just is, keep going down. I remember that. This was the first time. A time wizard failed on him. <laughs> or the only right. actually, not the first time. The only time. I mean, there was one time it kind of sort of failed him, but it just didn't really even do anything because he used it against Jin- Jinzo. Yeah, it didn't work. But it, Jinzo it, it helped. Like, it worked, but it didn't help him out. It didn't do anything. It, mm-hmm. did, it it was it was the effect he wanted, but didn't do anything against Jinzo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Which is weird. So, the thing that gets me is that I can see the thumbnail for the episode twelve. Which also has Bandit Keith in it, in that cave. So I think maybe this is gonna be like a two parter. I don't know. <laughs> also, okay, I remember now. In America, Ban- Bandit Keith has a bandana on his head. It's the American flag. That's all. It's a, I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of connection. I don't know. That's pretty much it. His whole t- his whole character his whole character is just that he's American. <laughs> Like, it's, like, it's just I, a bandana, dude. It's like, hey, I am an American. I wear it on my head. It's just I ban- love America. It's just a bandana, some stupid gla- sunglasses, and a fucking leather jacket. I, it's, it's, it's my impression. This is. I remember I had a friend who who he was British. I had him do an American. I was like, I, was, I he, he I was doing a British accent. He was like, he was like, your British accent sucks, dude. I was like, I dare you to do an American accent right now. He's like, he's like. Hello, sir. I'd like to order one Big Mac, please. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> that would scare the shit out of me. And I was like, hmm. The way you did that yourself, I mean. Mm-hmm. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> America is the greatest country in the world. It really isn't, but no. whatever. <clears throat> Dude, there's a whole fucking video that's like three minutes of just honesty about from, how America... From that one show with uh, the Harry from... I don't even remember the actor's name. Harry from Dumb and Dumb or whatever his name is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is the same guy. Yeah. I just realized that. Yeah. But you know what? Enough talking about that. So, yeah. This is... I think... Oh, wait, wait. Someone commented on me to stop looking at my watch. What I'm pissed off is about is I'm in like half a dozen different group chats, by the way. And I need to silence my phone and tell it to shut the hell up. You could just take off the watch. What? What? Me? Take off the watch? I am turning on Do Not Disturb is what okay. I'm going to do. Okay. So, Maybe this shouldn't uh, go off now. So I think it's going to have to be a two-parter when it comes to the Joy versus Bones thing. Maybe this is like the setup. I don't really know how he got separated from the rest of them. They, they, did they kidnap him? I have no recollection. All right, let's go. Dude, this is when this is when the rules didn't make nearly as much sense. So oh, yeah, it's all just a blur. <laughs> Previously on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Jesus. Just kidding. It's only you, Bill. <clears throat> I have to reach Pegasus's island. Oh. Fortunately, I can pilot right. this episode. I remember now. Not for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once I get there, he knows how to fly a helicopter. I'll bump into Yugi. This is I'll so embarrassing. the way he beat me in a card game. I can remember it like it was just yesterday. Wait a moment, did you just summon a bunch fuck? of monsters in one turn? Oh no. Yes. Oh no, it's season Much zero. It's the rules, isn't it? Screw the rules, I have green hair. What? Huh. Well, that was just weird. <laughs> I should probably cut down on the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for Kaiba. He's probably like, this is so embarrassing. I'm flying a helicopter and it isn't shaped like a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> Look, Bakora, your Millennium Ring is acting really peculiar. Oh, that's just my gaydar. My father had it installed in my Millennium Ring in order to protect me, because I look so bloody effeminate. I wonder why it's pointing gaydar. towards Pegasus's castle. Bugger if I know. This tournament is simply <laughs> fabulous. 
Ooh, let's celebrate by watching the Spice Girls movie. <laughs> ah! Not again. <laughs> Not again. That reminds me of the time when I was transferred into your school. Kids, this is our new student, Bakora. Not only is he new here, he's also British. So feel free to bully him like crazy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's bloody nice to meet you. What's wrong with his voice? Is he a girl? Go back to Russia. I wanna go home. You blokes are a bunch of wankers. Checkmate. I sunk your battleship. Joey, you redefine what it means to be a moron. I was watching you play card games with your mates when my Millennium Ring started pointing towards your Millennium Puzzle. I can't imagine why. This Millennium Puzzle is simply fabulous. fabulous! By the way, where are the others? Joey and Tristan are busy guarding Taya. For some reason, ever since we got back from the Shadow Realm, she's been under the impression that she's a caterpillar. Soon I'll be a beautiful butterfly, oh and then Yugi will love me. Oh my, a helicopter! I wonder who it is. I hope it's Santa Claus. Look, it's that guy I defeated in the first episode without even breaking a sweat. Hey loser, how's it going? I'm here to kick ass and play card games. And I'm all out of cards. Here's your deck, Kaiba. By the way, I've forgiven you for hospitalizing my grandpa. Can we be super special awesome friends now? Like hell. I don't have time to waste with you Scoobies. No offense, Yugi. You're a great duelist and all. But your buddy over there couldn't duel his way out of a paper bag. That does it. Nobody talks about my pal Tristan like that. I don't like <laughs> to be touched by people who don't have money. Yeah. Joey, are you okay? Check his pulse, Yugi. It's time what? to duel, you big Actual four kids This dialogue. looks like the perfect opportunity <clears throat> to stroke my ego. Behold, the briefcase of death. This contains uh, the prototypes for my revolutionary new dual disc system. Oh, so yeah, tell me, Wheeler, are you ready to be completely emasculated in front of your friends? I was born ready, Kaiba. Go, armored lizard. I think Beyblade's gonna sue somebody. Oh god, Battlelocks. I was just thinking about that. Smash attack. You duel like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You duel like a cow. Joey's sucking even worse than usual. Keep a stiff upper lip, Joey. So here's this giant enemy dragon. Blue eyes. Hell yeah. Attack Aww, his bigger weak dragon. Point for massive damage. Ridge Racer. That <laughs> costs you 599 US life points. No. <laughs> I lost. Oh, cry me a river, mutt. You dweebs don't know what you're up against. Pegasus is ruthless. Camp, yet ruthless. I've seen it with my own eyes. It was at a surprisingly popular card game tournament in America. Oh my god, there's so many people here. He used to be there with me, but since he'd been kidnapped for about the 50th time that month, his seat was empty. Oh Pegasus was facing the intercontinental champion, Bandit Keith who apparently likes to remind everybody that he's from America. You can't beat me because I'm an American. Oh See what God. I mean? It looked like Keith was about to win, but then suddenly Pegasus invited some kid from the audience to their table. Hey, what are you doing? Asking for help's illegal. In America. I don't need what? help. A child could beat you, Bandit Keith, and I'm going to prove it. Are you my mommy? Pegasus gave the kid uh, some fuck. instructions. And in just one turn, Bandit Keith had lost. Who would have thought that a child could win a children's card game? This can't oh be God. happening <laughs> in America. I've That's turned it? this tournament into a total farce. Hooray! Hooray! And just what was that story supposed to prove? It proves that I am obscenely rich. Smell you geeks later. I have a hyperactive brother to rescue. I didn't even get to tell him what I want for Christmas. Ooh, oh my god, he's still going on. He still thinks he's Santa Claus. Like boy. And once you get here, I'm going to spice up your life. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Not for me. <laughs> Tristan wants a pony. Uh. Wait, there's something else here. First play. Oh. Oh my gosh, we're in trouble. What are we gonna do? I'm going to do my laundry. Could I have some change? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that an outtake? Oh my god, we we should you know that's something we should do. We should react to <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh outtakes. Oh my god. <clears throat> I can imagine, like, because I'm pretty sure the guy. I thought vagina could... monologues was a damn outtake. <laughs> uh, like, yeah. What are we going to do? I'm going to do my laundry. <laughs> Got some change. Good God. <sighs> yeah. Totally spaced on this episode. Episode. So Bandit Key's whole thing is that he just tacks on in America at the end of sentences. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like, like a hyper, like a what is it? 
a more a hyper American, hyper Americanized American stereotype. You know what I mean? It's like it was like what you have a gun? Of course I have a gun. I'm an American. Or like what are you eating? Cheeseburger, American. Just the, everything was overcomplicatedly American. Want some salad? No, hell no. What are you What are you offering me salad for? I'm American. <laughs> like you want some pizza? Was that made in America? No, it's Italian. Get that shit out of here. He slaps it away. I'm sorry, if you don't like pizza, you're a fucking disgrace. Ugh. If you don't like cheeseburgers, you're a fucking disgrace. Ugh. All right, if you yeah. don't like veggie burgers, then you you have logical thinking skills. Ugh. So, yeah, he... You uh, ever get a cheeseburger and a taste for me? Prepares a veggie burger. We're getting close. We're getting close to the end. Because I, I was thinking when Kai... When Pegas- end of Duelist Kingdom. When Pegasus... Yeah, to that arc. Yeah, this arc. Because when Pegasus was, like, looking out over the... Uh, the island. He was waiting for Kaiba. I, it just made me think of that that scene in the actual thing where he like throws him some star chips and says, "Hey, if you want in, you have to duel and beat Yugi." And I was like, "Perfect." And, was, and then I'm like, "That's pretty close." Almost there. Almost there. Oh. Uh, Anyways, right. we are gonna get started on the next episode in the next video. Right. So we'll see you guys there. I'm Jace. I'm Josh. And we'll see you guys next time.